What is up, everybody? I know it's been far too long. Um, I hope you enjoyed the intro, by the way. I'm starting a new YouTube series. It's going to be me and a couple of friends. We are going to be starting out in the USL League One, which is the American third tier in Football Manager 2019. Now, you're probably like, well, what are you doing starting in the third tier? Like, what are you planning on doing since there's like no promotion or relegation? It's a brand new league with like nine teams or something like that. Well, what I did is I made a custom pack where it goes MLS at the top, then the USL Championship, then the USL League One, USL League Two, and then I this league technically exists, but not in the capacity that I made it in this save. The American Soccer League is the fifth tier, and that's the start of the semi-pro league, so the top four is professional. Everything from here on down is semi-pro. Then below that, you got the MPSL, and then last and seventh tier, you got the UPSL. Now, uh, I definitely took some creative liberties. That's not technically the structure in real life. It's kind of a mess in real life. And also, I threw in promotion and relegation because that's half the fun of football. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be really awesome. And as you can see, I'm starting out with the Oakland Roots. Uh, they're a brand new expansion team this year. I was going to go with the Hawaii Islanders. They don't actually exist in real life, but it's Hawaii. So, I mean, that sounds pretty fun. But then I decided to go with the Oakland Roots because I just really love what they're doing with their brand. Their logo is amazing. Um, their, their merch is amazing. Um, yeah, it's just the club looks like it's run really well. So I'm excited to see what they do in real life. Um, they signed a few players. They just brought in a head coach. Um, so hopefully they do well in their inaugural season. I believe they're going to be in the NPSL Founders Cup, which is kind of like a, it's not really sanctioned right now, but it's a professional league made up of some um, NPSL clubs, former NASL clubs, etc. So yeah, but in this game, they're in USL League One which is, again, the third tier. Um, Hugo is going to be taking over Brownsville, and Divs, he was going to take over Baltimore, but there were some weird issues with his finances where he couldn't really do anything. So he left, uh, started a new manager, and took over Long, Long Island Rough Riders. So that's what we're doing. It's the three of us, and we're just on a quest to make it up to MLS. And... I don't really know what to expect. I've I've done some trial runs. I've started a couple saves that I've played through. And in the lower leagues, it's tough because one, none of the teams really have any players except for a few. So there's a lot of custom or like a lot of regens of some of them are older, some of them are youth player regens. Um so you don't really you can't really see, you know, if like if you're in U.S. Uh, Sorry, if you're in the English League One, that's all real players. So you already kind of know from your background knowledge, like where where the good players are coming from, what teams tend to have good players, you know. So you can see what you're up against, and you also can get a better idea of uh, who you should be going after trying to sign. But in this case, you definitely got to do a lot more scouting because your background knowledge is not going to help you at all because none of the players are real, and in a lot of the teams, not necessarily at this in this division, but if you go lower down, a lot of the teams aren't even real. I just made them up because I wanted to make sure as many cities and areas of the country could have a team as possible. And some areas just don't really have any club that I, any like cl decent club that I could find to throw in the game. So I just made him one. Um, but yeah, also, you know, just because this team has good reputation and this team doesn't like one might end up with a player that's as good as the best player in MLS. I mean, there's been a lot of players in my saves that have gone from the seventh tier to starting for like the New York Red Bulls because they're just that good. And, um, it, you know, it's kind of weird that they started out in the seventh tier when they're that good, but that's just the thing with regens. You don't really know what to expect. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting. The transfer window is going to also be, um, yeah, it's just, just going to be really interesting basically. Um, definitely got to focus on scouting these players since, again, the background knowledge, it's not going to help. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk more about this pack that I made in a separate video that'll be dedicated just to talking about the pack. It's on Steam right now, though, if you want to go ahead and get it. Uh, I have a link in the description to that. Um, 
I, when I first uploaded it, there were some issues with it. It was kind of broken. I, it took me a while to figure out what was wrong. But eventually I did, and I re-uploaded it, and it's all fixed now. Haven't had any complaints, and everyone who's tried it has said <laughs> that it works. So, um, yeah, again, link in the description if you want to try it out. And then if I've uploaded... Actually, no, I haven't by now. Um, when I do upload uh, the video about the pack, go ahead and check that out if you want all the details about what's going on. So in this episode and the next two, we're just going to be getting through preseason, scouting players, making signings, filling up our staff positions, which are completely empty right now. That's another problem. Uh, playing our friendlies, etc. Uh, this might not be the most exciting content, but I'll try to talk about some interesting things and also talk slower so I don't have to come up with quite as many things to talk about. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, just while we get through this part, I'll try to keep you guys entertained, uh, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I do a good job. But yeah, I'm just including preseason so you guys can see everything that's going on before we get into the regular season in episode four. So one big issue with signing players and bringing in staff, um, at least right now in this first season, even though our reputation is about the same as, uh, I keep wanting to say USL, about the same as English League One clubs, or about on par with them in terms of reputation, we still can't really sign a lot of players. Not not very many people want to come to these teams. I don't know if it's because they're brand new or because the league's brand new or what. But regardless, um, whatever the cause is, it, we're having a hard time um, getting players to join our club. The team might accept the offer. We might have plenty of money. But then the player's like, oh, no, I don't want to come to this team. Like, I don't want to move there. Or this is this will be a step down for me even if we're signing them from a league below or whatever. Um yeah, so especially with foreign players, it's going to be tough this first season. So we might have to rely on the regens. Um, we might have to kind of look in the lower leagues for some of those like MLS quality players that we can nab before some of the bigger teams do. Because believe me, there are some very, very high quality players just kind of chilling in the lower leagues that you might not even find unless you just send some scouts there. Now, I learned that later on. Um, for whatever reason, I was trying to sign players from like higher leagues um mainly going for like squad slash like fringe players from bigger teams especially teams in mls but then eventually i decided okay this isn't really working too well so i'm gonna go with the strategy of trying to find cheap players that are a lot better than these mls rejects that are in the lower leagues in many cases they're on an amateur semi-pro contract so i can get them for really cheap um and yeah, that reminds me of another issue. The players that are on professional contracts, since a lot of these teams are brand new, or since the players are fake, um, they just sign their new contracts, so no one wants to move around, which is understandable, but again, it just makes things a lot harder. So next season, transfer business should get a bit easier, especially if we get promoted, but also since everyone's going to be at their club for a little bit, there's going to be a lot more movement there. Um, but yeah, this first season is going to be a little bit tough when it comes to everything. So hopefully uh, we get lucky with the players we start out with. And later on, not quite yet, um, I'm going to just go... I don't know why I'm spoiling it, but <laughs> I, I'm just going to go all out with my scouting budget. Um, put a lot of money into that because I just want to get the best players I can possibly get that I might not otherwise find. Because, you know, if I'm just looking around in the 6th division, unless I'm scouting these players and finding out what their stats and attributes are, I'm not going to be able to tell who's, a, you know, a hidden gem and who's not because they're all just regions. Also, if I sound like I kind of have like a bit of a lisp or something, uh, I have braces right now. I've had them for a while, but um, yeah, so that I can't, I can't do nothing about that, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but eventually, eventually they'll be off. Um... But yeah, probably not by the time the season is over, because uh, we're already within, what, like six months of the next FM game coming out, and they're not going to be off until after that. But uh, yeah, you might have to deal with it for this whole series, guys. I'm sorry, but hopefully you'll just get used to it, or maybe you don't even notice, and I'm just thinking too much. Uh, but yeah, uh, another thing I'm going to do with this series, I'm going to try to include some cool graphics. Um, like the intro is kind of the style that I'm going for. Um, I'm using Google Earth <laughs> for a lot of things. 
Um, like before each game, not preseason games, but once we get into the regular season, before each game, I'm going to do a little intro, um, like introducing the teams and it'll have, um, you, you'll see it when, when we get there, but it'll show, you know, the roots, it'll have our logo, it'll say we're from Oakland, California, and then it'll have, um, this is kind of how it was in the intro where it's like revolving around the skyline and then I'll have our opponents do the same thing, whatever their nickname is. Um, our first opponents this season are the Bug Eaters. Uh, the, yeah, they're just called Bug Eaters, actually. So I guess a better example would be when we play Brownsville. Um, I'll just have their logo, and then above that it'll say the Coyotes, and then it'll say Brownsville, Texas, below that. Um, so I'm just kind of like tying it in with like real stuff a bit, and then it'll be the Brownsville skyline kind of like revolving in the background. Um, so yeah, that's the type of graphics I'm going to be using. Um, that's, that's all I've come up with so far, but... I'll be bringing in some other things. Maybe if I, when I make a new signing, I'll make a graphic like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing what I can to make this uh, series unique and interesting. It all, it already is fairly unique, being a save in a custom USA pack with promotion and relegation. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I, I, I'm a fan of that graphic style. I'm, I don't claim to be a professional <laughs> graphic designer or anything, but I just like how it's looking. So I'm like, okay, let's, let's do more of this. Also, when we do videos like this, where it's a time-lapse and post-commentary, um, what are some things you guys want me to discuss? I can talk about, like, the the campaign to have promotion and relegation in the American League system in real life, because um, that's a pretty big thing. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot, and that also happens to be, like, the main social media outlet for that whole campaign, so I've been pretty active on there. So if you want me to talk about that, I can. If you guys want to, like, ask me questions in the comments or somewhere else and you want me to answer them, uh, that's also cool. You want me to talk like current events in real life football? Again, just uh, let me know what kind of what kind of things you guys want me to talk about in these these types of episodes. There won't be a lot, but uh, when we're in preseason or maybe we're just trying to grind through some part of the season um, as quickly as possible, uh, then there might be some of these. Uh, so yeah, just let me know what type of stuff you want to hear in these videos. To close out this episode, I'm going to talk about where I've been for all this time and what I plan to do now that I'm back. So it's been like a year since I actually uploaded on this channel, so I think I owe y'all an explanation. So what had happened was, this school year was has required a lot more work than past years and also I've been focusing most of my free time on my esports org Marificus Gaming. Uh, we've had plenty of ups and downs there, but overall we've made significant progress and I'm really proud of the whole team and where we're going with it. Uh, right now we have a CSGO team, <coughs> excuse me, and a Rocket League team. Epica Creative is still around, our uh, Minecraft Creative build server, and our streamers are still going strong. But starting this summer, I decided it was time for me to get back into YouTube. I'm still passionate about sharing my content with the world, so I'm really excited to be back. Still going to be on that grind with Marificus, though, and if you don't follow us on social media, make sure you do so you can stay up to date with what's going on. We're on Twitter at Marificus and Instagram at Marificus underscore gaming. Marificus underscore gaming. Now, what I plan to do with this channel, um, now that I'm back. So one thing that will be a constant on here for a while is this series. We're going to be uploading this every Sunday, and we'll sometimes surprise you guys with an extra midweek episode, because why not? I'm thinking of starting a new Civ 6 series with the new Gathering Storm expansion pack, because that looks really awesome. Um, on the Marificus channel, we're going to be starting a new show over there. More details coming soon. But other than that, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. On my Twitter accounts, which are my main one at Lil Wavo and my football one at WaveFC, but an X instead of the A, because, yeah, uh, shameless plug. I mainly talk politics, football, music, and not just kind of whatever is on my mind, really. So y'all let me know. Do you want more gaming content, or do you want my YouTube channel to reflect my Twitter accounts in, in terms of what content I post? Or do you want something totally different? I'm open to any ideas. Uh, just let me know. All right, at this point, I think if I start another topic, um, we're not going to have enough time to finish in this episode. So I'm going to just leave you all with some music to enjoy um, to close out this video. But I'll see you again pretty soon. Maybe Wednesday or maybe next Sunday. We'll see. Um, for episode two. But yeah, again, episodes every Sunday. And then every once in a while, I'm thinking maybe like every other week or something, there will be a, a midweek episode like on Wednesday. So um, keep your eyes peeled. But yeah, if, if there isn't an episode midweek, I'll see you guys next Sunday for episode two. And we're just going to keep grinding through preseason. All right. See you next time.
This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 production.